what name do you want me to, to call you? Because I was talking to the detective that drove you up, and he said I might have been calling you by the wrong it's name. It's funny that St. John's didn't tell you. When you run, run my fingerprints through, they come mm -hmm. up as Kimberly Lee Kessler. That's about it. So I would prefer to be called Kim. Okay. But okay, I just want to make sure I, that I'm calling you. Uh, by your right now. But if you run them through, I mean, the last time I got picked up was back in 1999 and I bonded out and it took them, I don't remember, it was a couple weeks, I don't know if it was two and a half weeks or three and a half weeks before they actually, you know, matched them matched up. Matched them up. Yeah, it didn't like, but that was 1999, so maybe it was a little bit slower then. Okay. But I don't know, there's like lots of people on the face of the planet, so maybe it still takes time. I'm not sure. And, and it may be too that you, since you've had this alias for, for so long, you know, it probably you, you've probably done a lot of stuff since that time, and so you've actually kind of got a, you know, you've got a history under that name, so it probably shows up in different databases and stuff like that. And that's just a guess, and maybe, maybe that's why it's, it's happening like that. Oh no, fingerprints are fingerprints. Fingerprints are fingerprints, and I agree. <laughs> like, but, but, but I have. I, a, I didn't uh, erase them with acid, so <laughs> they are the same. And, and, Just and, saying. And, and I agree with you, but I haven't. I haven't run your fingerprints. And if St. John's did, they they failed to, to notify us that you know. Uh, of the different names, so I apologize for Perhaps that. they just thought I was a, you know, a nut job, so they just right. ignored me, but it, it will eventually come up, so. We'll just call you Kim. Okay, but thanks. If you're good with, with Kim, can you just go through when you work with her on that Saturday, so I can, is there anything you can tell me that, did she ever talk to you about a, a boyfriend? Uh, I, know she, I know she's got a husband, I know she had a boyfriend. Did she ever talk about anybody she was scared of? She, did she ever say anything that would, that she wanted to run away and get away from it all? I mean, you know. I don't remember hearing anything. She would have different conversations sometimes with different clients. She I, was saying CPS came to her house. She was telling one client that I caught a little blip of it in between listening to YouTube and the phone ringing. And, and she, I remember hearing her say she thought her, her ex-husband or her husband was doing to get out of paying child support. That's all I heard. And I don't remember ever hearing about a boyfriend ever. But then again, I don't always really pay attention. Did I tell you who she was hanging around with or was no. she into anything that maybe she shouldn't have been She into, would just or... say to me like, you know, the time or two that she'd say, I'm just going home and having a quiet night at home or like, I don't have the kids tonight or, you know, whatever, I'm just going to enjoy this. And I'd be like, you're young, why don't you go out? She's like, no, I don't need a man in my life. But here she had a boyfriend, I didn't even know that. So. Was she involved in any bad habits or anything that could get her in trouble? Um, I, I can't say that it that she did, but I did find a bag that I believe had crystal meth in it, just a little bit in the bottom, a tiny baggie back by the back door. Did you guys ever <laughs> hang out after work? Did you ever go anywhere no. together? Okay. Um, did she ever allow to use your car? Are you allowed to use her car? Did you ever go anywhere together like that? No. Okay, okay. But you asked me all that before and answered before. Ah, so. uh, okay. I was, That's not, all right. There's video of you dropping her car off at the Home Depot parking lot there in Yulee and walking across and going into the uh, yeah. gate station and getting a taxi cab back down to, uh, they had it listed as Dick Swain's, but it was back down there to where Tangles is, okay? And that's why you're, you, you know, you're charged with a grand theft auto. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to trick you, I'm not trying to fool you. You're opening up to me and I'm opening up to you, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the reason you're charged with that. You're not charged with anything else, okay? Um, but something happened to Jolene. And, you know, we actually sent our, sent our crime scene unit out to process um, tangles. And there was some evidence there, okay? We have also, and, and I don't want you to think I've been fooling you, I, you know, I just want to talk to you and get to know you a little bit because I think something, what's your name? What's your name? Something, something that, that you didn't plan happened, but let me tell you what, what we did, okay? Because I just want to be honest with you because I think something bad happened that you didn't intend to happen, but um, uh, we have, you know, taking a look at your car, and we actually, and we, we went out and, um, uh, went to your storage unit on the island. And we did that all on a legal basis. We had search warrants going on, okay. Um, we've got the, the video of you at the, when you go in and buy a bottle of water, you bought it on your credit card. Uh, you paid for the, uh, for the cab on your credit card. Uh, you used the clerk's phone to make the phone call. 
to the, car, to the cab company. Um, we also have recovered your shoes that has Jolene's blood on your shoes. So I just want you to, if something happened that you didn't intend to happen, I want to talk to you about it. I don't think you're an evil person. I don't think you're a mean person. I think you have done one hell of a job getting through the last 25 years. Um, so let shoes. me reply this way, and you may not like the answer. I would like legal.